Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Tuesday the 19th of December 2023 and it's Acid Rainbow time. Looking at this... Is it Stealth Team? I can't remember if it's Stealth, I think it's Stealth Team. Uh, honestly, Noir, as opposed to Never, but I could be wrong. Uh, does look pretty cool. He came yesterday, plus a few others which I'll be reviewing after this. Love the artwork on the box. Got these guys to review after him. Back shows what he comes with. Got the alternate sort of a skull, metal skull, helmet head, grenades, pistols. Loads of stuff he comes with. Looks really cool. I am looking forward to this. I'm going to unbox them, set them up. I'll be back in an instant. Stay tuned. Okay, here he is. And the uh, acid rain connoisseurs, the sharp eyed among you, will realize that he looks like an AMM. The new AMM releases, but with different colors. You would not be wrong. Uh, so he comes with, in addition, to, in addition to what we see there, these two rifles, which are really quite nice here, which you'll hold particularly well, one handed or two handed. And again, you see the beautiful drilled barrels. Thank you, PIA Club, or, not, or PIA Club, who bought it from, Toys Alliance and Acid Rain World. Uh, he comes standing with this head, and this is the unhelmeted head he comes with. Now, I've got an issue with this head, and the issue is he has a round neck peg, and he's got a square head, which is a square hole, which is smaller than a round neck peg, so that is gonna be really hard to put in. Even if you heat this up, this is much harder plastic. It's gonna be very, very tough to swap the heads around. So maybe this is an issue, I'm not sure. I will be contacting PIA Club and seeing. Uh, the hat actually comes off this head, which is pretty cool. They've got a bit of a nasty mold line going around his head there, but it's nice that, that comes off. He also comes with the long rifle, a dagger, and two pistols. The dagger is used as a bayonet, attaches to the big gun he's got there. So if I just take that off quickly, and so, which is nice because there's no way that I can see to stow that knife on him, but you just a pull out and you got a nice knife figures can hold. Nice gun we've seen already before. I don't think the clip comes out. Very rarely do the clips come out on this small guns on acid rain mold. If it's a drum or barrel, maybe but not the small, small, small ones. Is that the right way? Is that the look? No, other way around. And that's just an easy, nice fit like that in there. Again, you've got the drilled barrel, very, very nice. That should indent the uh, scope sides, but that's cool. The two pistols are identical, currently in his holsters, which they do fit very well and don't want to come out. Very cool looking pistols again, not overly sized. Drilled barrels. And then he has a two grenades, so I just clipped on to the, his, the back of his uh, armor there. Very nice, simple grenades, we've seen this before as well. Okay, get a close look at him. Bear in mind he's got that head on and he's got one gun and one grenade still. Seen his head before. I've got in fact I've got quite a few loose I picked up off uh, towel bowls. I'm really happy with that. Very sort of menacing, nice. We've seen the body before. Does that say stealth team there? It looks like it's a stealth team, can't quite make it out here. This, uh, looks very, very cool. It's going to have wicked articulation we can see already, even with that big vest on. Just the shoulders will be the uh, issue on the lateral raise. So speaking of articulation, head's going to be a bit of an issue too, so it's a bit of a tight fit. But head that is a small forwards backwards, he can turn, but it's very stiff. And there is a nice... On okay side to side shoulders all the way around lateral raise is going to be the issue I wish I'd sort this out because much further than that his shoulders will pop out of joint however we do get a phenomenal bicep bend because he's armored up we're getting over 90 degrees the hands has got gun articulation on his right hand he's got wave articulation on his left you can pivot from the actual bicep and shoulder He's got trunk, which is sort of not being, or not usable because this big vest, which you could unclip, but I'll leave on. He's got waist with a small movement forwards, backwards, side to side, and can turn. His hips, really good. 
like thus. Forwards is good, backwards is a little bit going out a little bit, but you're getting to a nice, nice position on the leg, so very, very articulated. You can pivot from the hip, as you can see there. You've got a double kneecap, even with his tight legs, he gets ridiculously tight. Sorry, with these chunky legs. And then the foot, you can see the joint sticks out the bottom, which means you do get a boot turn, you do get a swivel, you do get a good tippy toe, though the joint looks a bit strange. And the dorsiflexation, because the tongue and the uh, sculpting is a bit small. But it is good articulation as we expect from acid rainwater. It's a nice looking figure. Okay, so let me just quickly get him uh, tooled up a little bit. I changed the guns over, see how he holds this gun. I don't like guns with these bars attached at the bottom, because normally your figures don't hold them so well, but Acid Rain World are known for holding their guns very well. Can he, he's doing, oh, he got his thumb in there, yeah. I know he can do it, just got to get him, there we go, there's sort of one, but again, it's sort of sticking out to the side. This is sort of gun he's going to hold two-handed, even though he's got two of them, to make it look like he's holding it nicely. So holding out two and it looks really quite cool, particularly if he's looking the same as he's shooting. But he comes with two. So in theory you could have him holding one in one hand and one in the other. But this other hand is not really a gun hand, it's more open. So he's going to struggle to grip that, particularly with that bar across the bottom. It wants to pop out. But I think holding it like this is better but you know I'm not complaining I'm happy to have an extra gun but like that it's fantastic so let's get an idea of his size so in CM he is about ten and a half approximately ten and a half CM if we compare him to some other figures I will use my Naruna Sentinel with the Fortnite Fate Head, who I always use because I love him so much. And as you'd expect, same line, same line. They scale very, very well. If I use a fresh retro robot to get an idea of how they scale with the fresh retro line. I'm not sure if they're still going. I hope they are. So I love their stuff. And the stuff they previewed looked amazing. See, they're slightly bigger than the fresh robot, the fresh retro robot of this one. They've got bigger robots, but it does scale well. Again, if I use a custom figure, this is my uh, custom joy toy figure with again with a Fortnite Fortnite head. Uh, which head have I on? But this and they um showed you box sort of weapon arm or weapon on I suppose the hands. This is for my cult of San Raja sort of universe. But it's the same size as normal joy toy, or just about. See he's a he scales well with the joy toy. Bear in mind he's armored, he looks more chunky. If I use a Marvel a scroll. The Marvel ones, again, scale perfectly well. So scales well with your other toy lines. Great looking figure. Um, yeah, it's basically a repaint of the AMM, but that's okay, so it's a great release anyway. And you're getting your stealth team in, so that's pretty cool. Nice figure, I like that. And when you add in the other figures that I'm gonna review in a minute, it's gonna look nice as a squad. Okay, awesome, that's your out. Saying please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next video. Stay happy, keep collecting and check out the Patreon. Bye-bye.